Six-year-old Matt Vojak of Barrington, Illinois, has baseball skills that are off the charts. He can hit, throw, and field. He even looks sharp in his uniform. In fact, baseball's a part of everything Matt does. It shows them how much home runs and RBIs they hit. What do you like to draw? Baseball fields. They have to color all the dirt, the bases, the outfield. Why do you think baseball is the best game there is? Because you make more money than any else sports. And it's fun. Much funner than going to work the whole time. He lives and breathes baseball. There you go. Debbie and Mike Vojak realize how fortunate they are just to have Matt. 32 weeks into her pregnancy, Debbie learned that Matt's twin sister, Rachel, would need medical care. But after delivering the twins by cesarean section, doctors discovered Matt was critically ill. What is that moment like? I can remember just crying hysterically, saying, you know, what did I do? You know, how is it that I've had the opportunity to have two babies and there's something wrong with both of them? His sister's condition was stable, but Matt's vital signs were not. Just hours after his birth, doctors decided to airlift Matt to another hospital, but didn't know if he would survive the 13-minute flight. So they told Debbie and Mike to say goodbye to their newborn son. It was like waiting on pins and needles the whole time after he left um, to hear if he made it there, okay? It was extremely hard. <laughs> to be stuck in a hospital bed and not be with him. Matt was diagnosed with a heart defect that required immediate surgery. He was only four days old when the doctors had to crack open his chest. They warned Mike to prepare for what his son would look like afterward. It was, you know, it, it was difficult when we saw him. It was, it, it almost didn't even look like a child anymore. His whole chest area was all opened. You know, picturing your little boy there and, and seeing him in that condition was just, it was just heart-wrenching. Someone had told you at that moment, he's going to be running around, he's going to be a big baseball player. I would have never, ever imagined that. Ever. It would be... Just, it's a miracle that he's alive. Though he looks like any normal six-year-old, Matt will always have limited cardiovascular endurance and will need constant checkups in the future. But the fight in his heart is beyond question, and his wish is to meet the player he likes to compare himself to, David Wright of the Mets. What's fun about watching David Wright play? He hits home runs, and he's a good third baseman. After playing ball with his dad in the backyard one morning, a surprise visitor from New York arrives at the Vojak household. Hey, Matt. Oh. Oh. Mr. Matt gives Matt a uniform and an invitation from David Wright to spend time with him and the team as they play in Milwaukee the next night. After arriving at Miller Park in a stretch limo, the family is met by David Wright in the parking lot. Where are you guys from? Uh, Illinois. From Illinois? Yeah. You guys are Mets fans? Yeah. How'd that happen? I don't know. <laughs> David escorts the family into the stadium and takes Matt to the Mets clubhouse. Once inside, David takes one of his bats. All right, we're going to get you some autographs. And passes it around to the locker room. Meanwhile, Matt gets to meet Coach Sandy Alomar Sr. I saw you out of the big limo. Coming yeah. out of the big limo. Yeah. yeah. You did? Yeah. Are you rich? No. No. <laughs> he also meets Jerry Manuel, manager of the Mets. You play third base? Yeah. Oh, I might need you tonight. <laughs> I think I might need you tonight, man. After collecting some autographs, 
Matt goes with David to the diamond. You gonna play some catch? Yeah. You ready? It's gonna be a high one. Matt impresses his idol by running hard to get under some pop-ups. <laughs> nice play. Matt. Nice job, buddy. Pretty good. Next, Matt gets a chance to take a little batting practice. Okay. Think you can put one out? It's too far. Too far? You're not gonna hurt me, are you? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, got him. Got him, got him. There They then move to the Miller Park wall, so Matt can swing for the fences. We need a homer. There you go. <laughs> and now the boy who barely survived his first day. Nice. Who spent months fighting for his life. There you go. He's hitting balls over the fence in a big league park. Home run. Nicely done. A friendly goodbye ends a glorious day. While an exhausted Matt has a head filled with new dreams. And is already thinking of how he'll use one of his gifts for David Wright in the next backyard game. Daddy?